today we're going to be trying out weird food combinations and some of these food combinations are really famous or have gone viral and they are all supposed to taste really good even though the combination is kind of weird or unusual. This one is actually featured on BuzzFeed and I have with me here Cheetos and milk, both of which are things that I love. As you can imagine, it sounds like it would be very disgusting because the Cheetos will start being soggy and then on top of that, the milk is going to turn orange. Cheetos! I love Cheetos. This looks like a healthy breakfast. So now, let's pour in some milk. <laughs> very gross. <laughs> so as you can see, the milk is turning orange. Let's try this now. I like it. <laughs> the initial like feeling that you get when you eat it is kind of like weird because you're not used to it. But now it just tastes like a more creamy version of Cheetos. I don't know who came out of it but it's freaking ingenious. I love it. I think I would totally try this at home next time. I'm gonna have this for my breakfast tomorrow or something. It's really good, I really like it. I guess most cereals are sweet, um, which is why I'm, I don't really like to eat cereal that much because I'm not really a fan of sweet food. So to me, the savoury thing is a good thing. Overall, whatever you like about the Cheetos is still there. You still can taste the cheese, you can still have the crunchiness, it's still nice. It's just like a more creamy version of Cheetos, I feel. This is a thumbs up from me. Not expected whatsoever, but I'm loving it. Very nice. Alright, so what I have with me here is uh, curry Maggi Mi and some Milo powder. Milo powder is like chocolate malt powder. This recipe has actually gone viral in Singapore and a lot of people have tried it out. I think some people actually like it. I'm feeling very dubious about it. So the recipe is really really simple. What you have to do is to put the Milo powder into your curry Maggi Mi. That's it. So obviously the um, curry instant noodle is kind of like spicy and salty and the Milo powder is really chocolatey and sweet. I really don't see how it will go but okay, let's give it a try. It just seems so wrong to desecrate like my Maggie me like that. Oh god, it looks so disgusting. I am beginning to think that this is just a sabotage. Like people who tried this have ruined their Maggie me and they're really pissed off so they <laughs> They are like, fuck this, I'm gonna like make more people do this. It smells disgusting. It's just wrong, it's just like curry plus chocolate. Okay, now it's like freaking brown. It's legit the colour of Milo. I can't believe I'm eating this. Alright, let's give it a try. Now it's disgusting. So it has this like chocolate aftertaste. It's just an assault on your senses. It's just like, your tongue just goes like, what? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, man? I really don't know why people would like it. So just leave the two alone. I think Maggie Me by itself is already very nice. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. Not a big fan. I don't know why people like it. I suppose people like weird things. A lot of people like weird things. Like Granny Pond. Why anyone like it? This is durian pizza and if you don't know what a durian is, it's actually what Singaporeans call the king of fruits. It's very very polarised, you either hate it or you really love it. For example, Mike thinks that it smells like open sewage. This pizza is actually very highly raved by many bloggers. Durian not only has a very unique taste, it actually has a very unique smell as well and this smell is ever permeating. That's why we are kind of in a weird location right now, we are actually in a stairwell. We didn't want to stink up the room out of consideration for other people who might not like durian. I am a big fan of durian, so I'm very excited actually. Mm. Not a fan. Okay, so this is basically just pizza dough and then on top of that it's just like durian and it's just spread out around the pizza and then on top of that there's some cheese and I think they just put it into the oven to bake just like that. It's not that bad. But it kind of like has no sweetness of the durian whatsoever. Yeah, maybe if it's sweeter, it will be better. I think if you like durian, you would still like this. But I think also because I prefer eating durian cold, so having it like kind of warm on a pizza is a little bit weird to me. Uh, you know what? I will try to put some cheese on there. <laughs> Very weird combination. I like the two things, but I think I prefer it if it's separate. I would say I would still give this a thumbs up because in general I just like durian so anything durian I would just thumbs up it I guess but you know what I guess I would rather have it separate I would rather have cheese pizza and then 
maybe as dessert some durians okay so this is chips with melted marshmallows and nacho cheese so i actually saw this on alicia marie's youtube channel and she skeptically tried it after multiple people posted about the recipe online and she said it tastes not bad so let's give it a try mm -mm, corn chips love so you're just supposed to put the marshmallow as many as you want on the top and then you pour the cheese on top of that so now that I'm done with my masterpiece, I'm going to put it in the microwave. You're just supposed to put it in until the marshmallow melts. Alright. So we've got the end result here. Um, it looks disgusting. Some of the marshmallow is not really completely melted, but I think we're pretty close. Let's try one piece. Oh, it's very, very soggy. Very weird lah. This is like both crunchy and soggy at the same time. Also salty and also sweet and also kind of spicy because the nacho cheese is a little bit spicy. So overall the combination is just way too overwhelming. There's too many things going on. I actually think that it would have been nicer if it's just marshmallows with no cheese. It's not terrible until I, I want to vomit but it's not good. I would say I'll give this a thumbs down. The next recipe is actually indomie plus mayonnaise So if you don't know what indomie is, it's actually just instant noodle but dry Indomie is a little bit spicy, it's kind of like a stir-fried noodle, kind of generic stir-fried noodle taste This recipe is really really simple, just basically have your indomie and then you add mayonnaise on top of it and just mix it up and eat it But it has to be Japanese mayonnaise, so this is the very famous uh, QP, QPI I don't know how to pronounce It's the baby brand I love it There's a little baby here You can't see the logo But it's very very cute And I feel like it looks like Dash Japanese mayonnaise is different from uh, The kind of like Kraft or Heinz kind of mayonnaise That you see in a jar Those mayonnaise tend to be more white And this is like more yellow Not a reference to race here But <laughs> I think it has more egg in it To me it tastes a bit more creamy And I actually like the flavour better Alright so let's give this a try I don't know if I put enough But if it's not enough I'll put more I like it! I think it's pretty good. It adds a, a different like intensity to the noodles. I think it's more creamy now and it's less like generic fried noodles. It has a more distinct, unique taste. I think I might actually do this at home. So this recipe gets a thumbs up from me. Alright, so we've come to the end of the episode. Speaking of weird combinations, do you know that there is a very potent combination out there that is actually a spell? If you download the Click Network app and subscribe to my channel, Xiaxue channel, and then combine it together with peeing on a frog, for the next three full moons, it will actually enchant you with a lifetime of good fortune. It's true. It's a very very weird combination but it's totally true so i'll see you guys next time <laughs> my fucking like government come and like find us <laughs> weird phenomenon where singaporeans are peeing on frogs see i should arrested famous clean network they forced me to say don't go and pee on frogs <laughs>